Hey, welcome back to USD, talking specs, speaking specs, whatever. I'm again here with Sam and this time, like this is a project he can really, really talk about a long time because this is a skate you're on, this is a skate you love. And we talk about the Eon basic skate, which is a new model for coming out in the future. So yeah, this is literally my skate of choice to help with the sort of development of the product and testing it in the long run before releasing it. And of course comes with the classic unibody concept. With the unibody, Generally, through UFS, one or two bolts holding things together, NG transfer is probably an absolute minimum. I mean, you wouldn't see a hockey skate with two bolts in it. You've got at least 16 rivets and all the rest. This is one piece entirely, so every bit of NG that you transfer into the push is transferred across perfectly. Without UFS bolts, you're able to have the widest split possible, making it perfect for flat setup skating. You can skate rails that flat, ledges, anything. Super wide sole plates available, and also just very nice and slim when you look down on it from above. Yeah, like Sam said, you know, really you can see all the wheels going to the inside, so it's as low as really as it's possible with the unibody concept. So this also reduces the weight drastically. We don't have really any bolts there. We have no rattling parts anymore. So this is really as low it gets to the ground, super low center of gravity and super lightweight. And I say super a lot and Scott always complains, so I continue this. Uh, we have the 45 degree strap, which is adjustable. And we have the top locking buckle. Every part is replaceable and interchangeable uh, from the cuff and the pieces. So they also can go some customization on it. Uh, the new part actually is the liner here. So we have a new quite simple liner. It's a USD basic liner. It's still a dual sizes, so it adjusts to the size. So we have dual size fitting in this shell. Uh, it's nice and low profile, but it's still like giving in and stretching with the SBR on the front. So it really wraps around your foot perfectly and gives you a lot of nice padding, have a low cut on the back. So it has a little bit more mover movability. So this is all lightweight again and has a shock absorber built in in the inner sole and also a shock absorber inside the shell, the normal Eon shock absorber inside the shell. The classic Eon shock absorber is still slim, but there's a lot to it. Newer models also come with these plastic inserts, which is good because say you're getting the scuffs of your wheels going through there, shock absorber, which actually has these little flaps on the edge that clip in, stop it slipping around. I know various other models that I've skated in the past, my thrones, the sole plates, uh, not sole plates, sorry, the shock absorber would slip forward, could cause you some problems. That problem's been taken care of now. I mean, despite this being the more basic model, most people are just customizing these straight out of the box anyway. So if you're looking for the price point version, which you can add all your own bits to, it's perfect to make it into a proper pro level skate. Comes with Wicked Abec 5 bearings and 61 millimeter USD wheels, which will be long lasting and also quite fast and durable. So this sums up a really nice packaging for great price value. So check it out at your local store and favorite online shop. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.